I'm here with Hillcat starting pitcher Tristan McKenzie. Tristan, you've had a great season so far. Thanks for joining me. No problem. You've had uh, three games this year where you shut out the opponents, and then you had your highest strikeout, 14 strikeouts in a game. How have you gotten to that point in your career so far of being able to dominate and kind of control the opponent's batting? Uh, I mean, I think it's just something that comes natural, but with the game developing on me, the game kind of advancing, and just me learning every day, uh, taking tips from my, uh, my coaches, taking tips from guys who've been there before, and just kind of applying it to my game and working and working on my craft. So starting out, you know, being drafted and everything, um, kind of what have been your strengths from the start and then what have the coaches kind of helped you with so far? Uh, I, I mean, I think my knowledge of my game personally is one of my biggest strengths, but I think the coaches just kind of recognize that and just kind of help me boost my attributes. What would you say is your strongest attribute when it comes to pitching? Uh, just reading hitters and probably throwing my fastball. So when it comes to reading hitters, does that go into kind of reading about the scouting report and paying attention to some of those details in there? Uh, I mean, it goes into that, uh, making adjustments on the fly, just kind of understanding what a hitter's tendencies are. Maybe they may be different from the scouting report than what I notice in the game and just kind of adjusting to that. So the other day when you were pitching, um, it was the first batter of the game, Austin Hayes. He goes and hits a home run off of you. How do you stay cool and composure after giving up a home run and then you go on to strike out you know, 13 guys after that? I think I got a little angry to be honest, but I kind of use that anger to focus, focus a little bit more and just dial in a little bit more. I guess the points when you do get angry, how do you kind of keep yourself calm on the mound? Uh, I mean, I understand that at the end of the day it's just a game and that you have to roll with the punches. I mean, that's the game of baseball. You're going to give up home runs, you're going to give up doubles, you're going to give up singles. It's just part of the game. Have you always had that type of understanding throughout your career? Yeah. Yeah. So ever since like Little League or AAU, you've kind of been cool with it? Yeah. So going back before being drafted back in Palm Beach, right? That's where you grew up? Yep. Um, what was it like growing up there and then kind of adjusting to living here in Lynchburg? Uh, Palm Beach? It's a little bit faster than Lynchburg. I said I think it's slow, but it's it's a little bit faster than Lynchburg. Uh, there's not there's not really much to do. No, I, no. There's there's a lot to do, but I don't do much. Would be would be more accurate. <laughs> do much here in Lynchburg? I don't do much either. <laughs> yeah. In either one. <laughs> so growing up, you know, what what would you mostly do? Uh, go to the baseball field, hang out with my friends, play video games, just normal stuff. Yeah. So with video games, what type of video games are you into? Uh, RPGs, I play a lot of Call of Duty, so first person shooters. Uh, sports games, obviously, baseball, basketball, all that. You know, since you're a little bit younger than some of the guys, not too much, you know, I feel like sometimes that's emphasized a lot, like, oh, he's a younger guy. Uh, is that kind of one way you kind of connected with some of the players on the team when you first came here, is like playing games or mm. things like that? I mean, yes, but I mean, it's more. When we're inside the lines, everybody has a certain maturity level about them, and I think we all got along on that level, and just kind of carried off the field as well. Mm -hmm. Anything that you guys like to do hanging out? Like uh, we like to go get food. <laughs> That's a big one. Uh, I mean, we'll go over, we'll watch games. I mean, the NBA Finals is on, so we I've gone out and watched games with a couple of guys. Um, we go play video games. We play ping pong in the clubhouse. Just kind of just relaxing type stuff. Mm -hmm. For the NBA Finals, who do you think is going to win? Cavs. Cavs. Yeah. Are you a Cavs fan? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so you mentioned you like to eat food with the team out. Do you have any favorite restaurant around here locally? I just went to a place called Boo Liquors. It's really good. Uh, but I'm, I'm more of a steak person. So as of now, I like Outback. And I heard there was a good steak place, but I haven't visited it yet. Yeah. I actually worked at Outback at one point, And my favorite steak is the ribeye. Do you have a favorite one? So, uh, Filet. Filet? 100%. <laughs> With that signing bonus or something, you could get as much filets as you want, huh? I guess. <laughs> I know you have a few nicknames, or so I've heard. <laughs> yeah. So, I know of two of them, Docs, or Doc, right? Okay. And Sticks. Hmm. How did those nicknames come along? Uh, Doc's just kind of something that I always wanted to be. Uh, it's a nickname that I've had since I was, I'd say, about 11 or 12. Um, it's just I've always wanted to be a doctor and I think that that's what I want to be on the mound. It's just kind of surgical about how you go about attacking hitters, getting outs and stuff like that. And then sticks, I mean I'm skinny and then uh, my friend Todd Isaacs, he's also in our organization. He, uh, he just started calling me that one day and it just kind of stuck. Yeah, sticks stuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of inspired you to want to be a heart doctor or? Uh, I like mean, that? I think it was it was something that my like some some parents are always been like, oh, you should be a doctor, and I think they said it to me, and it really really interests me, and it was just something that I really wanted to be. So maybe later on in your career when you're older. Maybe. After being a Cy Young pitcher or something. Maybe. What <laughs> happened?